Hey YouTube, today I have another fake Lego review. We've got six figures, one, two, three, four, five, six. Russian military, Alpha Force, SWAT military, whatever. Uh, and a lot of weapons here. Uh, these are from a company called Lego, Lego Links. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, they're from AliExpress, they're a Chinese company. They're fake Legos, as you can see, Lego does not uh, manufacture soldiers and that is the reason why I bought this to begin with, because it's something different from the regular Lego like this, so I guess, and again the price is quite cheap, although this set did not come quite cheap, it was 7.8 euros, whereas the previous SWAT uh, review I made was only 2.5 euros. So I'm gonna construct them and I'm gonna do so a, a lot of review constructions and you're gonna need one of these things to take to take them off. You have six figures and uh, although it, it's one of these guys has a weapon, there's a lot of spare weapons here and quite some bizarre ones. So let's take a look from the, from the top. So this guy, I intentionally did not put a vest on him so you can see the detail of the painting. Every guy has an F. FSB, I don't know if you can read that, uh, which means a special police force from the Russian special forces. Uh, they have different types of vests. And uh, this guy here with a vest, with, with his helmet, with his wired, weird looking kind of gun here on the back of the vest. You can attach various things like a knife. They even have a crossbow that was quite weird. And there's this guy here with a uh, red beret and of course uh, each one of these guys came with a spare helmet or a spare cap so if you don't want them to look so much Russian you're going to use a helmet and then we have this guy here with a Russian type machine gun again the painting is very nice the legs are moving like the in the other set however I will have to use some glue again because they do come off because they're they are wearing this uh, type of belt with uh, the, the position of holsters for the guns and this guy here which you can attach something to his head so some night goggles and I believe that there were there are some in the spare parts and finally this guy here, I've put him with an M16 type of rifle. And the overall construction is good. I was impressed with the fact that they have a lot of spare hands. Each one of them, besides the spare hat, he had the spare hand. So that was something weird. And then the other thing that impressed me the most is the fact that we had a lot of RPG type of uh, things that actually do work. They just push this thing and this, this thing comes off. And they even had a, I believe this is a motor. Again, this is also kind of operational. And other like bazooka type of guns, strange type of looking guns. And of course the sniper rifles, uh, some pistols. And a lot of spare parts like uh, bipods and stuff like that. So eventually you can equip another unit with all those type of things. Uh, so for the pricing I believe is a bit high, that's 7.8 euros, but okay, you can equip other guys as well. And the build, overall build quality I believe is good. They're the same size as in a, as a original Lego. And their hands move quite firm it's a new model and of course comparing to a, uh, the previous set which is a lot bigger they have different hands this looks more like a Lego than uh, the previous set that I reviewed and as I said there are a lot of this uh, baton for a police officer perhaps and it's a nice looking set again for 7.8 euros you cannot buy Set with six figures, or you may buy a with, with six figures, but there will not, will not be soldiers. And this is good value for money. It's up to you to judge. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.